What's going on everybody? In today's video, we're going to talk about subluxation of the ulnar nerve. Um, it's a lot more common than you think, and sometimes you can have it and not necessarily have symptoms. <clears throat> this topic comes to me from a question I received from Mythbuster. <clears throat> I'm guessing that's no relation to the TV show. Um, but he basically says he's got a snapping sensation in his left elbow, he guesses it's the nerve sliding back and forth on the bones. He doesn't feel any numbness or tingling. Uh, even a snap, snapping sensation is very unnoticeable. He only feels it when he puts his el uh, fingers at the elbow to check to see if the nerve's moving around. Doesn't want to uh, go through surgery. Who does? Uh, however, he's afraid that the constant friction from working out will um, wear out the nerve and irritate it over time and you know cause problems so very valid concern um, first off let me uh, address how some of you can look for subluxation um, this is just something I found going through nerve glide exercises that I found online um, it was one that I could do and it would pretty much reliably make my nerve subluxate because a lot of times when you go into the doctor and they just do this and they're feeling at your elbow it's hard to tell sometimes your nerve won't pop all the way over this little bone here and and that can still be subluxation it doesn't have to you know fully pop over the bone to cause irritation it's all you know individually um, dependent you know some people as a matter of fact I've, I've read a study that said something like it was like 16% or something of people had ulnar subluxation but had no symptoms and never had any problems. So, you know, this guy, you could be one of the ones that has subluxation and never has a problem with it. But if you want to test to see if you have subluxation, I usually, um, there's a nerve glide exercise where you stand square like this, have your arm straight up to your side, palm back, you know, up, kind of up like that. And just bring your arm straight back like this and try to touch your hand to your thing. Now, I can feel my nerve kind of pop over here. This is the arm that I still have issues with. Obviously, I won't do it on this one because it's already on the other side because I had the transposition in that one. But you can do that to see whether or not you have subluxation if you're just wandering. Um, obviously, for somebody like this guy, who feels it when he's working out or doing things mildly, uh, he could tell he has it, but he doesn't know if it's doing anything because he doesn't have symptoms. In that case, I wouldn't really worry about it. I mean, you could be, like I said, one of the people that just has subluxation and you never have a problem with it. I wouldn't even modify my activities too much. Like, for example, if you love working out, keep working out. You know, he was saying, oh, maybe I should stop doing arms. It's depressing. Do arms. Don't worry about it. I mean, you're not... It's not like you're curling all day, you know. The things I would avoid is, you know, sitting here on the phone like this for hours on end or, you know, doing things like, you know, maybe you don't sleep with your arm bent like this, you know. Uh, you could wear the night splints if you're sort of worried about that, that keeps your arm straight when you sleep. But if, you know, if you're just worried about it as a precaution, just do those things that aren't going to interfere with the things that you enjoy during the day. And there's no point in making yourself miserable if you're not miserable already because you're not having pain or symptoms. Um, and, you know, as, as far as not wanting surgery, nobody wants surgery. That's why we do these conservative treatments and we try to avoid things, you know. Even though mine was successful on my right, of course I want to have avoid doing it on my left just because why do I want to have to, you know, do it again? You know, I just, if I can't, if I can avoid it, I, I want to. That's just practical advice that I give anybody, but if it comes to a point where I need it, I won't hesitate to do it. So again, for those of you that have subluxation, you don't have problems, don't worry about it. Just keep an eye on it. If you keep doing your activities that you like, whether it be playing guitar or some sort of instrument or playing a sport or working out, whatever it is, um, only freak out, you know, don't f worry or only worry you start to be concerned with it if you start getting numbness or you start getting pain at your elbow. Then go see a hand surgeon. And just because I go, I tell you to go see a hand surgeon, that doesn't mean you need 
surgery. It just means they know you, you know, they deal with cubital tunnel, carpal tunnel, you know, things of the nerve. Orthopedic surgeons, it's mainly sports injuries. You know, being active, I thought that's who I needed to go to. But you guys need to go see a hand surgeon. That's their specialty. They'll know what to do. And they'll, you know, I can assure you that they're not going to just say, yeah, you just started experiencing this, you should have surgery. They're not going to tell you that. They're going to tell you that you need to try conservative treatments and then see if it goes away. So there's many steps before you're faced with that uh, decision. So I hope that helps. Uh, Mythbuster, uh, I hope you're feeling better. Um, sounds like you feel fine already, so don't worry about it. Don't freak yourself out. Stay positive and just keep doing the things that you like to do. Okay, till next time. Aloha.